Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Marble Stairway by Rockrat Zero. So we have normal 6x6 six six Sudoku rules in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box. We are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have this gray line in the grid. It's a very long palindrome line. So what that means is it reads the same forwards and backwards. So if I put 1, 2, 1, 3 here, we can repeat as long as Sudoku rules allow. Then I need to repeat that this way, one, two, one, three, which actually doesn't work in this case because of the repeated ones, but um, you get the idea. I'm not trying to give you the correct solution, just a way it could be filled. So let's actually just change that to four. Um, you can believe me that you can repeat digits like the, um, anyway, uh, yeah, let's make these threes. There we go. So if I read this forwards, it's one, three, four, three, five, three, four, three, one. And if I read it backwards, it's one, three, four, three, five, three, four, three, one. Right, so it needs to read the same forwards and backwards. Um, additionally, we have crop key dots in the grid. So white dots separate consecutive digits. Another way to put that is they have a difference of one. So if this is a two, this could be one or three. Uh, additionally, we have black dots. Black dots have a one to two ratio. An easy way to think about that is one is exactly double the other. So again, if this was two, this could be one because two is double one, or it could be four because four is double two. And that's it, those are the rules. Um, we don't have a negative constraint on the crappy dots, which means I could put two, four here, and that's perfectly fine. There's no black dot, but it's allowed. The black dots just tell you about these cells. They don't tell you about other cells. All right. Um, so yeah, there's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself, and I'm going to get started right now. Okay, I think this box is the place to start because it's full of dots. And the thing I want to think about is how... We can't put a five on a black dot. I think that's gonna help. So just to show why, if this was a five, well, odd numbers can't be divided by two. We'd have to have a two and a half here, which is not a number we can put in Sudoku. Um, or it'd have to be doubled to 10, which is also a number we can't put in a six by six. So uh, no fives on black dots. Um, in a six by six, that's the only digit that can't go on black dots, but it's still helpful because it means we need a five in this chain here. And this is going to be a chain. We're either going to go like one, two. For example, we could go one, two, three, four, but that would force a five on the black dot, so that's not allowed. If we went two, three, four, five, that does have a five on in, on, in the white dots, but it forces one, six across here, which is not a one to two ratio. So that doesn't work. So it looks like we are going to need three, four, five, six, but we don't know the order. So that's how that resolves. And then this is going to be a one-two pair. Um, OK, so this 3, 6, we should look at where on the palindrome that goes. And actually, I'm just going to color the palindrome. We'll just pick some colors here, blue, orange, purple, green. And then we can go the same way this way, blue, orange, purple, green. Since they have to read the same forwards and backwards, that is those cells. Now, with something we have to be careful about is orange and green could be the same digit. Um, for example, um, it would it would work. Um, so we need to make sure we remember that orange and green are not necessarily different digits. It's just these two are the same digit. Um, so that lets us put the three six here as well, which does leave a four five pair for this row, which does put four five here. Um, I am going to fill one two three six here, but I'm not sure that that's needed. <laughs> um, okay, so maybe I should think about this column because it's also full of dots. Um, this can't be a 3-6. Um, if it was a 3-6, then this cell would have no value. So this is from 1, 2, 4 only, and it does contain a 2. Um, so I guess we should ask where 1 goes in this column then. Because if, the, if 1 went up here, it would go with the 2, and then this would that would break, right? Because we know the 2 is part of this ratio. This could only be 4s. So uh, this is not 1, 2, which means 1 only goes down here. So this does have to be just a 1, 2 pair. Um, and the 1 can't go here, because if the 1 went here, we would need both of these to be 2. So instead, the 1 goes here, and we go 1, 2, 3. And we know blue is 3. Now that we know it's what digit it is, we don't need that filled. Um, that's not a 3, for what it's worth. All right, this is a good progress. Um, we know 4, 5, 6 are remaining here. So 4, 5, 6, that's 4, 5, 6. OK, um, what can this be? I guess it's 3, 4, or 5, 6. Um, of note, I guess uh, I guess of note is it can't be 4, 5, because that would break this cell. Um, 
this can't be 3, which means this can't be 4. If 4 or 5 were possible, we couldn't eliminate that 4, but actually we can because we know we can't do 4 or 5. So without the 3 here, this is not a 4. Um, okay, so what do we want to do next? Um, we have a lot of dots here. Do we want to think about this? Uh, maybe? We need a 1 and a 2. We need another 1, 2 up here. I don't think that helps. Okay, what else do we have here? We have oranges. So orange, orange in this box is in one of these two. What does that do? Okay, this is something I'm seeing. I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to be seeing, but I do see it. Um, I was thinking about sixes in this column. Because if it's not an orange, it's up here. And if six is eliminated, this is a three, four. So that's, that's a good thing. But I was thinking about how, how do I explain this? Um, Wherever we put the six in this column, this can't be a six because this orange is the same as this orange, right? Or you can think about it as the orange is up here. So if I put a six in orange, I think it's pretty clear that this can't be a six. It, that puts a six here and that can't be a six. The only other option for this column, if it's not in orange, is we have a six up here. If the six is here, then it's still not here. So no matter what world we live in, this is not six. And that does let us eliminate five, because again, four or five is not possible. So we have this four or five pair and this three, six pair remaining. Um, so what does that do? Well, we know the six is not here because the three is gone. So this is not a three, six. This is from one, two, four. And I guess it does contain a two. Okay. Um, We can still put a six here. Actually, no, we can't put a six here. This can't be five, right? This could have never been six because that would force this to be five and you can't put a five on a black dot, which we proved earlier. So six in this row only goes here. So orange is six, very nice. So what we can do is we can corner mark sixes up here and then we can get rid of all of our oranges. I like to clean up colors once they're uh, an unknown digit. Um. Okay, what can we do next? That was pretty nice. We've got sixes. I guess six and six look in. There's a six down here. Three and three. Puts a three up here. Sudoku is always good. Um, hmm. I do suppose we need a three up here. Ah, oh, that joins the six. Yeah, this three six looks up. This three six looks in. This is a three six pair. It's the only places three and six can go in the box. Um, Oh, we have this 4-5 pair, which has always been looking up at this, leaving a 1-2 pair. I don't think that affects this too much. It might affect the white dot. Yeah, the white dot can't be a 3. So this has to also be the other 1-2. Uh, how's this going to resolve? I mean, we'll find out. Um, so that's a 4. That's a 5. 5 goes with 6. 4 goes with 3. 4 does 5 and 6. That's a 6. Yeah, 4 has to go with 1, 2, and 1. That should have been obvious to me. Um, it looks like we're it looks like we're finishing, honestly. Um, so yeah, this is this is a four. I'm just looking in the wrong spots. Um, yeah, so of one, two, five, the only um, five can't go here, right? Because it can't be before a six. So the five goes here. These purples are fives. We don't need these colors anymore. Um, and it looks like we're just finishing. This is a 1-2 pair. Um, this is 1 and 5. We know the order. That resolves the 2 and the 1, resolves the 3, 2 and 1, resolves this 3. We need 2 and 4 here, and there we go.
All right, a bit of an intricate puzzle. I'm wondering if the six thing I found was necessary. It certainly helped because it let me place this six. So that, that was fun. Um, how the fact that six had to be in one of these, which actually it could never have been there. Six had to be in one of these. Actually forced it to be here only <laughs> because of the clone. Very interesting. Um, still not entirely sure exactly how that happened, but it's neat. Um, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed this puzzle. Uh, it seemed like it was a little bit on the harder side than usual. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed it e either way. And of course, if you did, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.